Hi, recently Saint Fusion announced their dedication as contributors to .NET MAUI and released the Saint Fusion Toolkit for MAUI 2, a set of free open source controls for MAUI. And today, in this video, we are going to see what are these controls and how we can integrate them in your own application. So let's go. Recently, we have received some excited news about how we have a new Saint Fusion open source toolkit and we welcome Simfusion open source contributions to the .NET MAUI project. Today, we are going to talk about this recent announcement, what it means, what are the possibilities with this new toolkit, all the controls that it offers, how to use that controls in your own application, taking a look to the code also of the controls, and finally, what means also the uh, Simfusion contributions to .NET MAUI. So this is the announcement, you can find it in the .NET uh, blog post and also you can find a Simfusion uh, blog post just introducing the first set of the open source .NET MAUI uh, controls from Simfusion. There are 40 controls open source and of course free to use. Between them we can find chart to visualize data in an effectively way. Uh, Cartesian charts, circular charts, funnel charts, etc. We are going to see one by one now later. And then we have a carousel control, we have a tab view control, the chips control, FX view, shimmer, text input layout, navigation drawers, and between others, like for example, pull to refresh, etc. So, what are these controls? Well, you can find all these controls in this repository, github.com Simfusion Maui Toolkit. Here you can find the first release of these new controls. You have access to the source code where you can navigate directly to some samples that we are going to see later, a gallery, and also you get access to all the controls. So if you want to know, for example, how the navigation drawer works, you can navigate here, you have the drawer with the implementations in every platform, for example, this is on Android, where you can get some interactions, events to manage and expand, you know, swipe and slide the, the lateral menu, etc, etc. Then it's available everything on a Nugget package, the ID, the package ID is infusion.maui.toolkit, the uh, current version is the 1.0.1 .1 version at the moment of record this video. And as always, we are going to start taking a look to, you know, the Simfusion toolkit for .NET MAUI with an application, the gallery application that you can find in the GitHub repository. I have this application already running on an Android device. We're going to take a look to all the controls one by one. Then later, we're going to learn how to use these controls in our own applications. And finally, we're going to take some extra notes about all these changes. Okay, so let's start taking a look to, you know, the gallery application. It's an application where you can get access to all the uh, 14 open source controls. There is a lateral menu where you can get access to the documentation or do actions like, for example, change them to dark them, etc. Okay, so let's start by the data visualization control, all the charts, and the first of the chart is the Cartesian chart. It provides an efficient way to visualize data with a focus on uh, simplicity and allowing high user interaction. Support a wide range of charting features like displays, late data sets, offering flexibility in data building and user customization. Of course, there are different series. You can draw, for example, columns, bars, lines, area, and between others, more complex like Google, Scatter, Spleen, etc. Of course, can create real pain chart like this one sample. Can modify and have different axes with uh, different values, numerical values, that date time values, etc. etc. Can put some annotations, some notes in the chart, for example, 
to add an annotation in a specific part of the of the chart. Uh, of course, can modify the legend, including some customizations, like in this case, using text with icons. And there are a lot of options related with the interaction. So you can select, of course, bars, etc. in the chart. You can touch and open tooltips with more information. And also you can do actions like zoom and, and panning. Or there are specific options to auto scroll. As long as we are getting more new values, etc. Okay. This is the Cartesian chart, but we also have some circular chart. This chart allow visualization of data in various circular formats. Like for example, we have uh, the, the classic P chart, but also we have Donut. The Donut theory is similar to P chart, but it's used to show the relationship between some parts of data and the whole data. Of course, support different types of uh, interactions like select different slides, etc. And then we have the radial bar series that it's a type of dot chart that represents each, set, each segment as a separate circle. It's used to compare values between various categories, like in this case. More charts, we have the funnel chart, provides a way to represent data across different stages in a process. It's ideal to analyze, for example, business, funnel, sugar, sales process, for example, etc. So this is the default funnel chart, but also you can customize and include the legend and you can customize tooltips. Then we have the pyramid chart. It provides a way to represent proportions within an ahiritual uh, data. It's uh, widely used to display data that uh, it's a percentage of a total, for example, like in this case. This is the default one, like in the previous case, we have also options to customize legend and tooltips. Okay, and the final of the chart is the polar one, enables the creation of a polar series charts, often also known as a radar, a speeder web, or a chat or similar. This type of chart is ideal for representing data in terms of values and angles. Used, for example, in sports and, you know, other, other kind of values. Okay. And then we have more controls like the text input layout. This kind of controls have decorative elements, like, for example, you know, icons on top of the, the input views or uh, flattened labels and are useful for customize the UI, but also to do, so for example, display error labels uh, when something uh, is not uh, passing the validations, etc., etc. So there are options to capture single text. There are options to capture values from a, a picker. You can introduce only numbers or pick an option from, again, a picker. Can also introduce, of course, passwords. And there are different options to make validations, for example, and display, for example, errors, like in this case. So really interesting controls. And we pass to the user control that allow the users to navigate through different uh, data in an interactive way, where, well, provides various customization options for its elements and range. We can uh, customize, for example, the transition, the duration of the animation. We can apply some transformations or not, like uh, we have here in this case, etc. Then we have uh, uh, some navigation controls, like, for example, the tab view that provides an advanced interface for tab navigations in both mobile and desktop with several customization options. So we can create, for example, nested uh, tabs. We can have uh, fixed or scrollable headers. We can customize every of the tab items, etc. So, for example, let's take a look. This is a tab with scroll, and here we can see some kind of customization, customizing the selection, changing the background color based on the selected item, etc., etc. Then we have the navigation drawer 
that comes to be an alternative to some of the navigation controls in Maui, for example, Shell. It's a simple component to create a navigation panel in the application. We can access to the navigation panel programmatically or with a gesture, for example. It consists of a content area, that is this one, and the sliding panel that slides from one of the ads. One of the most interesting things is like supports different pane positions in all the four directions. So we can display, you know, the, the sliding panel from the left, right, top of button. Also, the sliding panel has different customization areas that so we can customize the header, like we have here, a picture with a profile, you know, and the menu. So another really interesting control. Then we have some buttons control, for example, the segmented control that provides options for a linear set of segments containing text, an icon, or, or both. Each segment is like a discrete button, allowing you to select choice in a user-friendly manner. Can display text, an icon, or a combination of both. You can create a, a scroll to the segment items. Uh, also provide four types of selection uh, to change the indicator placement, like fill, you know, the uh, the background or display an indicator border on the top or the bottom of the selected item. Also, we have inside the button section the chips control. It's another component that allows you to present information in an interactive and customizable layout. It's enabled to arrange multiple chips in a layout and group them making a selection and interaction uh, seamless. So you can create options like this, support single selection, multiple selection, etc. Then we have the FX view. It's a, a container control that provides modern effects like for example, the ripple effects, uh, scaling or rotation effects to indicate that we are selecting an item when we are touching it. We have the shimmer effect. It's a loading indicator control that uh, wraps content and we can use some predefined layout to manage if the content is feed, video, shopping, of course, being able to managing all the animation effects like the direction, color, cone, the weight width, animation duration, etc. to create effects like this. And of course, we can create a custom view in the effects view to indicate what will be the layout we want to, to render, it's expected to be rendered. And finally, we have the pull to refresh control, that is a refresh control that allows you to interact and refresh the view while on it. The pull to refresh controls allow you to refresh the view just doing and performing the pull to refresh action like this. Progress indicator will be shown while starting the pulling and the application will be refreshed on once you, you have pulled down. So this is works with layout, but also with list and all that controls are the 14 open source controls released by Stingfusion. Of course, everything works with, uh, for example, dark theme. So let's take a look, for example, to the text input. And yeah, we have here all the controls adapted. You can find all the controls on uh, GitHub, like we have seen before. Uh, I recommend you to, to get access to it. It's interesting to get access to the code because it's a way also to between all us contribute and keep improving the controls. Or maybe you can use these controls as base to create other controls or more complex controls. So that's really interesting always. But how you can use this new library in your own application? We have seen that we have the library on Nugget package. So what we need to do is go to the project, go to the reference, Right click to manage Nugget package and install the Simfusion Maui toolkit package. Once we installed it, the next thing that we need to do is, after include the reference, modify in our My Program class and add a line to configure the Simfusion toolkit, like we have done here in the sample. Let's go to the control gallery, Maui program. And here you can see that we are configuring the Simfusion toolkit. Then the next thing that we need to do is use, use the Simfusion namespace. That is this one. It's a new schema, Simfusion.com, we took it. So once we added it, we can go, for example, to the different samples. Let's see how we can use, for example, 
the uh, tab view, for example. Here, let's see the getting started. So, yeah, we have here the main space to the Symfusion MAUI toolkit. And once we created it, here we created a tab view. And inside the tab view, we use the tab view items property. Inside every uh, tab view items is expecting a collection of tab items. So we are starting creating tab items, setting the header, setting the content, and customizing, for example, in this case, the, the icon. And yeah, almost that is all that you need to do to start using this toolkit in your own applications. Then we have access also to the source code. Here we have the code. So in case you are uh, planning to create, for example, a custom carousel, here you can find the carousel handler and the implementation in all the platform. For example, this is Windows, where it's using a platform carousel, create the platform view and mapping, you know, all the options. There are some exciting things in this uh, carousel, like be able to enable the virtualization or allow to load more data when we reach the, the end, etc. etc. But in case you want to customize or create something complex based on this control, modifying, I don't know, the interactivity or I don't know, the, the, the transitions in some ways, you can just send an access to the code. That's uh, really, really, really nice. And then if we go back to the blog post, at the end of the blog post, there are also some interesting notes about this collaboration. And it's this section of here where we can see that Symfusion is also uh, starting to openly contributing with issues and submitting PRs in the .NET MAUI repository. There are already several uh, issues fixed by uh, Symfusion uh, members. And this collaboration will keep working while we get also more active contributors to the Donet Maui. It's uh, good news anytime, mostly because it's an opportunity to uh, keep improving and getting more and more content, more and more quality. So really exciting news, really exciting news, uh, a big amount of new open source controls available today to use with your Donet Maui application. And yeah, I'm extremely excited to know about what you can accomplish using these new controls, what gaps are filling that was not possible before, etc. If you are interested in seeing more content, like for example, create some UI challenge, uh, replicating some user interface from Dribble Designs using this kind of controls, etc., just let me know in the video comments. And we reach the end of the video. It's really, really exciting to have more contributions to .NET MAUI and also include more possibilities and new open source controls. I really want to know what you can create with these new controls. You can also leave your feedback in the comments of the video. See you soon and happy coding.